Hi, welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a France proxy, that is a proxy server based in France, to um, change your IP address. Um, now I don't know if you know this, but um, most of the big media sites on the internet and lots of forums and things like YouTube and stuff customize what you can see online uh, based on your location. And the way they do that is every time you connect to a site it looks up your IP address and where it is. So if you're in Britain you can access British sites with no problem, but if you try and access an American media site like Hulu or a, <coughs> uh, a French media site like uh, M6 Replay, um, you'll get blocked quite often anyway. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can use um, a proxy to change uh, basically your location. Now I've just chosen an example here. At the moment I'm in the UK. Um, but I like to watch um, a French channel called M6 Replay. Um, but it, w it won't let me access that normally. So let me just show. Here's the M6 Replay site. Just show you. It sort of redirects at the moment. It's, uh, it's a French site. And it has lots of content and um, TV shows. Lots of American ones, but dubbed into French. And lots of French original stuff as well. Uh, and if I try and click on something and watch a program, let's try and watch here it's streaming, you'll get this little message which basically says you can only watch this in France. Um, it's looked up my IP address, seen I'm in the UK, and blocked me. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I can use a French proxy um, to bypass that block, really. Um, this can work for any media site. It's just a matter of picking the right country. Now, I use a program called Identity Cloaker. It's a little security program. I use it primarily for security because it encrypts your connection, stops you being logged everywhere, and keeps your browsing safe. I do a lot of traveling, and I use um, cafe Wi-Fis and hotel Wi-Fis, and I, I have to do my online banking and pay for things and stuff like that. And I, I don't like using these things because everybody can capture your details. So I use a security program. But one of the side benefits, well, a very big side benefit, is that you can change your location at will. So if I'm in um, Britain and I want to connect back to France, I will show you how I do it. Basically, you get this little thing. It sits in your taskbar here. Um, you control whether the encryption level, so that's how strong the encryption is, or even none at all. I'm going to change it to none now, because all we're going to do is stream video. <coughs> Okay, so, uh, and all you do is you search down all these different servers, Australia, USA, I, Ital Italy, Ireland, UK, Russia, Germany, Switzerland. They're all available um, when you pay your subscription. So what you do is you find a French one. So here's a French one. Um, I pick the fastest one I can get and I simply click connect. My, my computer is now connecting to the Identity Cloaker French server. Hang on, that's not the French one. That's right. Uh, the encryption is disabled, so my connection is not secure, but completely secure. It's just routed through France. Okay. So if now I minimize that and restart my browser, which I use Chrome. Um, first of all, you can see straight away Google has looked up my IP address and said, "Oh, you're in France," and I'm gone through to the French version of Google. Okay. Uh, but let's go and demonstrate this let's go to m6 replay again you can re remember that um, initially this video wouldn't play but this time I've got a French IP address I look like I'm in France to this server so if I click to play and we should watch it looks for the adverts and it'll start playing now hopefully and here we go we've got the let me just pause that We've got the video playing now. Um, because M6 Replay thinks I'm in France, the servers are in Paris, it doesn't see my real IP address. It only sees that of the, uh, the French proxy. Okay. Um, now, this is just a demonstration for once for, for a French TV station. It can also work for if I want to watch Hulu, um, which is an American TV channel similar to M6 Replay. I'd use a US server there. And if I was looking at um, BBC iPlayer, I'd use a British server and so on. Okay, well, I'll finish there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching.